Is apartheid Jewish? In what way is apartheid Jewish? Is genocide Jewish? Is racism Jewish? Is settler colonialism Jewish? Is it any of this related to Jewish history and values that we know? Judaism, after all, has one of the richest histories. It's a long, and I am proud of this history. And what is happening now is actually a shame that we Jews have to live through. Whether you are a religious Jew or a, like me, a secular Jew, I come actually from a religious family and I had religious education and I can relate very easily to the past and to the present through Jewish religious eyes. And I cannot identify in the state of Israel a single and like Rabbi Cohen explained to us why this is not just not Jewish, but it is against Judaism. It is a denial and it is an accusation that Judaism needs to get rid of. So what is called the Jewish state is basically a racist and anti-Semitic state. I grew up in Israel like Ilan and we both experienced, because we've spoken about this, uh, we both experience the um, hatred towards Jews uh, of the European and Arab world as children. As children, we have experienced the um, enormous racism, cultural racism towards Jews from, uh, especially religious Jews, uh, and other religious were really the enemy. Um, we have experienced the hatred towards the language of Yiddish, that is the language of my um, you know, father and mother and, and the family for many, many uh, centuries. Uh, we have experienced the hatred of the language of Arabic, that Jews have spoken for at least uh, 2,000 years. And remember that wherever Jews lived peacefully, and the Jews were always a pacific people. Yeah? They were not militarized like they are now. The military is not part of Judaism. Like violence of the kind that we see is an abhorrence of Judaism. So I want to speak today about two things. About what this means to be, a, what, what it means to be a Jew, and especially an Israeli Jew, at a time like this. Because this is not only awful to the Palestinians, not only um, illegal, immoral, and impossible for us to accept, but it actually puts Jews in a terrible situation. In, remember that Israel is never hostile to real anti-Semitism. The, the anti-Semitic states and societies in Europe and elsewhere are the best friends of Zionism. <laughs> and always have been. They are the mainstay of Zionism. Israel is not fighting at real anti-Semitism. Israel is fighting anti-Semites like us and you. This is what Israel is fighting. Israel is fighting criticism of its crimes. This is what they call anti-Semitism. They don't fight the real anti-Semites. They are the real danger for our brothers sitting here because they are visibly Jewish and I am very thankful for you to come in again to show what real Judaism is. Now, why am I saying that this is such a danger to Jews, not just the Palestinians? There is no doubt, there is no confusion, there is no two ways for this audience to understand the genocide. Of course, it's not just illegal, it's not just immoral, but to think that Jews are now doing genocide after what happened uh, to them, not just in the Second World War, but throughout their history, after what Jews have went through, uh, that now Jews are creating genocide against all the values of the uh, religious culture and history, this is terrible for us.